Welcome to Moist Studio. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more such videos. Hello everyone. Welcome to Moist Studios. Today we will learn how to draw in Flutter. We will be using streams in our projects. So the first thing that we need to do is we will go and import the RX Start plugin. I will explain the use later. Now let's just import it. Move installing. Let's copy this and paste it here. Now we have imported this plugin. This is the only plugin that we need to import. Otherwise, everything else is code only. Now to draw, you basically need three things. So the first one is body, a place to draw. Then a list of points which will tell where to draw, as well as paint which will tell how to draw. Now we'll start with the first one, which is the body. We'll also have to define our own model. We'll call it draw model which will have two things one is offset and the another one is a paint variable so these are the two parameters that we need make it like this yeah now we'll have to define the body now in container we'll use the full screen as the body to draw for now and height Now the child. So we'll need a custom paint which ex needs a custom painter to draw. So we need a painter. Now we have to declare our own custom painter. Drawing painter extends custom painter. Now we have two methods to implement so the first one is the paint which is responsible for drawing as the second one is should repaint now to paint will need a list of points so it needs final list of draw model the one we declared points list now think of this way let's say we have five points one two three four five so in this case we have to draw a line from 1 to 2, then 2 to 3, 3 to 4, and 4 to 5. But if there's only one point, then instead of drawing a line, we need to draw a point. So we'll just loop through this list, the points list. i is equal to 0, i is list less than points list dot length minus 1, and i plus plus. So let's declare the first case first so let's say if the point list of i is not equal to null and even the second point is not equal to null which means we can draw a line from i to i plus one so the paint method it has two things first is the size and another one is one first is the canvas and another one is the size so the canvas is where we need to draw so canvas dot draw points no here we have to draw the line so we have to give the first point which is point list of i dot offset then the second point i plus one dot offset and the third point which is not the third point but the paint let's say point list of i dot paint now in uh, the second case let's say we only have the first point and not the second point which means point of i is not equal to null but the second point is equal to null in this case we'll need to draw a point now here first we have to declare a draw model not a draw model an offset offsets list now offset list dot add points list of i now we can draw so canvas dot draw points so the point mode 
is points because we are going a point now here we can pass the offset list and points of list of i dot paint as the paint that we need dot okay why is it not giving the option to paint what's the issue oh i'll see yeah and we'll make this one as true so our drawing painter is ready we'll just call it drawing painter and now it needs a point list so let's create a variable list of drop model points list so the list and also we'll create a stream of type list of draw model and we'll dispose it also once it's use is done dot close now we need to get the points the list of points because our body is done now we need the list of points and here for the points list instead of the points list we'll give it the stream so the type is list of draw model our stream is point stream dot stream and here instead of this we can give it the snapshot or data so the reason why we are using rx start or the stream is we don't want to use set state because set state is a bit heavy on the mobile and there are performance issues with set state so we should not use set state at all now let's get the points we we'll use gesture detector so here we have to implement the three methods so one is on pan start when you touch the screen this method is called on pan update so when you are making a line of something and you are continuously in touch with the screen this method is called and when you put your your finger this function is called on pan end now we'll start with the first one so we're getting global coordinates in this one but we need local coordinates to draw so to get the coordinates first we'll assign scaffold a key global key key is equal to global key we'll assign this key to scaffold and use and then we'll get the render box the screen key dot current context find render object now we have the render box now we can get the global coordinates so we have to add to a points list dot add draw model so it needs two parameters the first one is offset for which we can get using render box global to local details dot global position and another one is paint which we can use it like this for now oh uh, let's declare a paint object bar outside paint paint is equal to paint we can define different properties for the paint let's say color is equal to colors dot red we can define the stroke width let's say 3.0 we can also define the stroke cap which means is it square or how do you want the stroke to be we'll use round for now and we can pass this as the parameter here and after this coordinate is added to the point list we can pass it to the stream point stream dot add points list so that it can be updated on the screen we'll just copy the same thing in pan update also but in case of pan and let's say you have removed the finger so now we have to add the null to indicate yeah you have to draw till here not move so points list 
dot add null and point stream dot add points list so this is done yeah i think that's it that's all we need to draw that's all we need to write we'll try if it works or not there's an issue points list of i dot offset yeah that's it my mobile is running we'll just run it again yeah as you can see now we can try now we can also if you want to clear the screen you have to just add null to your screen so let's say if you want to clear the screen you just need to add somewhere points point stream dot add null that's it it will clear the screen now if you want to take a screenshot of the screen i'll write the function in the description even that is easy see so i think that's it do like comment and do subscribe thank you